And we continue now with our own Geraldo Rivera and Republican presidential candidate Tom Tancredo. Look, as hard as I try, Congressman, to convince my colleague here, uh, Geraldo, this is about we had an opportunity. If we didn't have sanctuary cities, if we would check the status of people that arrested, in this case, you know, of, you know, the serial rape of a, of a five-year-old girl, these kids would be alive. This goes to the heart of what it, the problem is, is the, here, is that we have a fear exactly that issue. we don't even look at the status of illegal immigrants. This is exactly the case. It's got nothing to do with my grandparents. It's got nothing to do with Miami or Washington State. It's got everything to, to do with the fact that when somebody commits a crime in this country and they are here illegally, they commit another crime, some heinous crime, and that is not reported to ICE, then they are allowed to go out on the street for whatever reason, right. bail or anything else, and commit another crime, in this All case, right the murder of three Let people, me, then you cannot escape responsibility. The, sa the sanctuary city of Newark has got to absolutely. take responsibility for this. Let me hang on one second. Let me get back to Geraldo. This is important. Now, I want can you to... No, 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 you can't just I say... Have, no, I, I got to get this... No, no, I got to... You'll like this. Really quick. <laughs> You're killing me here. You take over the... I, yeah. I, I think that the issue as defined yeah. this evening will be the seminal issue in the 08 I agree with that. race. Whether you agree with... Uh, All right, Thomas now I got to get my question from Here is my question. Colorado or with me or I the want you to explain do, that will be the election the and where the majority will fall will here. be Help me look the law of the land is do you agree with that the law of the land is, is that, the law of the land is you are not allowed to enter this country illegally right. we have these sanctuary cities which basically they won't check the status right. of people you explain to me why we shouldn't do everything possible to enforce the law and why we would do, would not check the status I, I of criminals I can easily explain you know, there are 12 million illegal aliens, quote unquote. But you right. know what the crime is, first of all? It's, it's a low level federal misdemeanor that is usually treated as a civil violation. What if we <laughs> criminalize, as uh, Jim Sensenbrenner, uh, Tom Tancredo's colleague, tried to do in 06, all right. of the illegals? 12 million. That is six times the total population of all the prisons in the United States of America. Six times. Right, we right, we only have a moment left. So the 12, minute, the 12 uh, million, that's equal to the yeah, total right. population of New York Tancredo. and Los Angeles. You got a great now we are Send them out on now we are let me ask you a hypothetical. Because we're talking about deporting people and finding them and getting them out. Just a minute. If, we, if a child, a six-year-old child with an infectious disease goes to a hospital, should the hospital then find out if that child is here illegally? Or Listen, are you going to drive I, people to actually stay home and not get and, and go I'm to not school going, and I'm not going to allow you to do? I'm not going to allow you to drive this issue, to drive this Sorry, discussion late, away from it. the issue that we're here to talk no, it's, about. It's, it's a, about here finding to talk people here illegally. Three dead children in Newark, one in the hospital. They're, he, they're dead because the but, city of Newark Geraldo has a sanctuary out, policy. 60 crimes in Newark. That is the end of the story. You're choosing the end of the Because these because Street. it's an I'll illegal person doing it. Tell you it. why. Tell you why. Because if the if the city of Newark had done its job and the federal government, these three kids would still be alive. That's why this is an issue. Do you understand that? Why only this one? Why only this one? Do you understand? Because because we know that these three kids would still be alive oh, wow. today. How, how, how many people? If the city of Newark how many people enjoy the job? benefit of a random act difference. of kindness today that, from someone who was here illegally? Is the who, how many lives were it? saved? How many how many children what? were fed? How many people oh, had had their lives improved today that, by that undocumented to do with You're extrapolating one horrible act out of sixty acts right. to because the person's anything. illegal. You want to use it as a political bat to hit your opponents over the head? That's what you're doing, Congressman. Congress three kids would be alive today, Alan. Three would be alive. You keep that. You're ignoring the all the city other murders. Because that's because the, that's the truth. Because right, that's the truth. Uh, thank thank you, Congressman, for being with us. Geraldo, by the way, don't forget, watch this weekend for his special, The Death of Diana, Unanswered Questions. It's on Saturday night, 8 p.m., Sunday at 4 p.m., and then leading into Hannity's America at 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Now, we've been asking you, the viewers, to send us your photos or video.